Did you say that? Did you just witness all that? Welcome, Alan. Hi, hey. how are you? Fantastic. How about you? All the way over there in Canada. Yeah. It's, it's dark out. <laughs> it's dark. Oh. It's late. Well, at least it's how was your how was your day? First it was day of uh, track, yeah. How do I say it in Australian? It was brilliant. <laughs> it was good, mate. It was hey, good. Emil. Well, also so um, great. Uh, I'm so excited to have you on this little call today. I'm going to jump on so all of my incredible here more what all of it. And guys, this is the creator of the Pace, the Pace Protocol that we're um, bringing here to uh, Bangkok this May, coming May, just around the corner. Believe it, it's April already. Yes. Um, and so let me just, uh, yeah, what about your little intro, Alan? Just give us a quick little about you and your what your niece is and your, what you do over there in, in Canada? Um, you know, I don't know how much your group knows about uh, NLP or, or me in general, Judy. So I don't want to go back to the beginning. So in the beginning, right? I don't want to go back that far. But um, my experience with NLP goes back to the 1990s, so over 27 years. And um, the body of knowledge of NLP is massive. And the set of tools that you have is so powerful that it's often uh, daunting when you're faced with a client because your clients are complex and they come to you with a lifetime of, of living and issues and successes. And, and then the toolbox is so big that often practitioners of NLP don't know how to marry the problem to the tool set. So um, in studying and researching post-traumatic stress, which is my area of specialty, I, I found some protocols, some from Stanford University outside the NLP community, and then some protocols within NLP, and, and I blended them. I married them, if you will, and then we, we use them in our practice. So our practice in Canada is a team of seven NLP coaches in a 2,500 square foot facility with our own training class. And based on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of client interactions, we refined and, and created re, uh, iterations of the protocol. And so we created a protocol called, I think you can see that called PACE. And PACE stands for Protocols for uh, Achieving Coaching Excellence. And it's literally taking that massive toolbox of NLP and saying, here are the tools you use in the first session. Here's are the tools that you use in the second session so that you can easily move a client through the induction, uh, through the um, initial engagement into their problem and out to their future. And we've had such good success rates with our protocol and our coaches. Um, as soon as they finish the prac and pace combo, they get clients and they get success. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's what you want, right? You know, I've had a few of my partners that have just been trained and going back and with clients and I've got the support all the way through that. But, you know, they're like, ah, now what? You know, I've got all this information. What do I do? Yeah. Right? And, and, and even at the, even after master practitioner level where you get to learn deeper into the why, and like master practitioner is just brilliant. I mean, I just experienced completing the master practice level here weeks deep dive into really you know, the next level, understanding the, the why behind we've even taught at prac level and then taking on more skills. And then even sometimes going out after master prac, you can still feel that same way. I, that's how I felt. And I felt like I didn't have, you know, something that's as incredible and as structured as this. And that's why I'm so about bringing this over to and inviting to all of you students because um, this is a game changer for you to get results immediately. Not only start making it get your return, but also just get like incredible results. It, it, 
You know, Judy, the mentor that you and I studied with, Todd James, when I showed him the, the protocol, and in the protocol, there's a, a psychological assessment tool from Stanford University that we use at the beginning of the protocol, at the end of the protocol, to demonstrate that we got the results the client wanted. Of course, Todd is a, a man of very few words, right? He's a very chunked up thinker. And he, he looked at me and then he looked at his wife, Adriana, and he looked back at me and he said one word, he said, brilliant. He said, this is what we needed. And I also work with a group called the Research and Recognition Group. It's the only gr group in the world that academically rigorously tests uh, NLP protocols. And their goal is to actually create a master's of counseling degree in NLP within the five-year horizon. And when the founder of that organization, Frank Bork, saw the protocol, he said, this is the kind of protocol we need to teach at the master's level at university. Yeah, so we have yeah. something. So, yeah, so in, yeah. and, and as you build your repertoire, so you can, you can take pace after practitioners and start seeing clients. And then when you do your master prac, you fit your master prac skills in, in the appropriate place. Because as yep. you and I know, when you do master prac, you just finished one. I'm in the process of giving one right now. Some of the tools we teach are massively powerful. Yeah. Massively That's powerful. Right. Yeah, pain paradigm, the drop down through. Some of these tools, you know, if I didn't know where to use them and how to use them in the right context, yeah, they are powerful tools and we get massive, oh, yeah. we get massive change with NLP. And so what we like to see is the graduates be successful coaches. Those people who want to actually be NLP practitioners or NLP master practitioners working with clients every day, we'd like to see them have the tools they need to be successful. Right? Yeah, definitely. And so tell us a little bit more what be, five day training. Yeah. Tell us a little bit. Uh, the journey of that five days yeah so so let me let me just back up a little bit nlp is uh, much like martial arts we have schools of nlp and we have schools of martial arts so the school of nlp you and i are in um is, is you know, sort of the spiritual leader of the school is tad james of course right so in the five-day pace program we do three days of teaching the first three days are teaching but we go outside of our school of NLP and we go into another school, uh, Steve and Connie Ray Andreas. And we bring in some teachings from their schools and we bring in a couple other schools of information. So the first three days you'll be learning some things um, in our school. And through the development of the protocol, we've actually learned how to sequence NLP techniques from, from large techniques to small techniques. And, and the sequencing of those techniques actually multiplies the effectiveness of the first technique. So you'll also learn how to sequence techniques. And uh, you and I know how to do a breakthrough. You, you, know, you know how to do the intake, right? The uh, detailed personal history. Well, we've expanded on the detailed personal history in such a way that um, the clients always come away after the first detailed personal history and they say, I know that was only data gathering, but I feel really different. Yeah. Yeah. So in the first three days, we'll teach all of that. And then on day four and five, the participants will actually do a, a full pace breakthrough with a peer, including the psychological survey before and after. So they'll be able to see the shift they created using NLP tools, the NLP tools you've taught them in literally eight hours. They can see the shift that they created in another person in eight hours. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about the, 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 Z, the ZTPI, yeah? Yeah. So Phil Zimbardo is the author of the ZTPI. ZTPI stands for Zimbardo Time Perspective Inventory. And again, I, I found this when I was researching post-traumatic stress. There's a book called The Time Cure. Uh, it's Phil Zimbardo's work applied to uh, PTSD. And so this survey, you can Google um, Phil Zimbardo and you'll see an RSA, one of those whiteboard sketch um, introductions to it online. I use it in our teaching. But it measures how we store data and how our neurology is oriented to the past, the present, and the future. And in the past, how we store past negative and past positive memories in the present, how we're 
uh, how we're oriented towards fatalism in meaning how much control we believe in we have in our life and then hedonism how our orientation towards pleasure and then in the future we see our future as positive or negative and so we do that survey at the intake and and uh, zimbardo's research has provided what we would call a baseline for a well-adjusted person in a relationship in, you know uh, knowing where they are in society love it you know uh, well-adjusted, takes life's up and down, bumps up and down in strides. And then when you do the survey with your client, you get a, a graph that compares to that baseline. And then when you do the exit, you get a third graph. And you can actually see where your client is compared to the baseline. And then you can actually see the change that the intervention did with them at a deep psychological, neurological level that uh, we hadn't seen before. And if you're doing work with trauma or any of the DSM-5 diagnosis, so the American Medical Association's diagnostic tools, Dr. Zimbardo, uh, his ZTPI has a high correlation to any of the tests like the uh, post-traumatic stre uh, stress test, anxiety tests, depression tests. The correlation is very strong. So, you know, to the, the best of my knowledge, it's the first time that uh, anybody's actually brought a psychological tool into the NLP realm and used it on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. And, give, and giving people this data that shows, you know, here's the standard, here is where you are, and before doing this, here's where you are after. So, yeah. they feeling different. They get this evidence that also backs up um, what their experience has been. Yeah, I, it's too bad I'm su it's too bad I'm such a luddite, or I'd share my screen here. I'd go live and figure out how to share my screen. I'd actually show you the graph, but not in the capabilities. I, don't, I, don't, I think Facebook's not got that high tech yet. All right, um, but uh, we I think uh, future. Well, I know Zoom can actually now do Zoom calls and then live stream straight into groups in Facebook. So I need to up level my Zoom and then we can yeah do that. But, um, uh, and I think that, that's what blew me away when I first met you, Alan, when we were sitting next to each other in our assisting yeah. at the master training and showing me, you know, like all these stats that he's got. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then, you know, I kind of just let it go. And then when you know, in this negotiation with the company in Singapore, they're going to be consulting to their education, training their coaches. He, he said to me, I'm looking for something like this that gives us that because, you know, in the esoteric world, it's very hard to people to like, put their finger on what's actually going on, right? Yeah. This actually people can really see clearly where they're at, where their starting point is at, and, um, and where their finish point is at at the end of the trip, which is yeah. gold. And uh, as I said, like, it's, it's genius. And I'm so because Canada right now, with school, is the only place that's running the PACE program. We're the, the second place in the world. Yes. So guys, this is a unique opportunity. Yes, yes. I'm bringing Alan all the way over. From the, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited at another level because uh, my wife and I, Tara, Tara's. Uh, passionate about uh, doing ongoing research. So she's being sponsored to do a PhD and her PhD will be based on NLP. So the, the, the surveys that we're doing will be some of the data that she uses in her PhD. So we're excited to, to, to create a bigger body of data. And uh, yeah, we're, we're really excited to project PACE out outside of Canada. So thank you very much for the opportunity to, to come to Thailand. Oh, I'm, I'm, thanks for coming. I'm thrilled yeah. and also willing to come and trusting me with then being able to roll this out here yes so um guys do you, do you have any questions about what we've shared what alan's spoken about or what the program about if you don't have then let us know if you've got any questions that you want to answer yes on the call she's actually signed joined in uh in May, so very excited to have completed the track. Um, I can't see who else is on there. There's a couple of others on there. But so. Karina's on. Karina's on. Jessica's on. Michelle. 
I'm trying to get uh Yes, what is Pace exactly? Is it a software we download? Did you hear that? Yeah, Alex? if anybody has any questions, just feel free to ask him. Yeah, that, that's Jess's question. Can you see it there? Oh, the yes, what is Pace? Yeah, what is Pace exactly? And is it a software we download? No, Pace, Pace is a protocol. And it's a, um, each, each client gets a, I'll do this, each client gets a manual. So this is the, this is a client's book. So instead of taking notes on a clipboard or a piece of paper, this is the manual. It's a 40 page document. And every, every step of your, when you're using NLP, every step of the way has a template that you fill out as you do the work with the client. So everybody gets a copy of this by a PDF, but we update them quarterly. In addition to that, the ZTPI is a, um, is an, is a uh, digital survey that graphs automatically, and we're converting that into an app. So the app will probably be out in the late second quarter, early third quarter of this year. And so graduates of the program will just subscribe to the app. It'll be pennies. And then uh, you'll have access to the actual ZTPI. And then uh, we send out an update to this for all PACE grads every quarter. And then is there an Excel sheet or something that they input the data in? Or Right now we're doing the survey in Excel. And it, you do the survey right in Excel live. And it graphs it for you. As I said, it, by the end of second quarter, the beginning of first quarter, that'll become an app. It'll be a Google and an i um, an Apple app. Cool, awesome. Getting yeah. high tech, Alan. I'm impressed. Yeah, uh, you know. Jess, <laughs> getting new school with us. Um, Jess asks, is there an ongoing cost of the protocol? Uh, right now, there's not. Um, when when we um, when we get the software. There might be an annual subscription, but it'll be minimal, right? It, it'll be cover the cost of distribution or updates to the software, right? Right now. Yeah. But the way it is right now, when you complete the, the PACE course, you get the PDFs and you get the Excel worksheet um, for your use as part, of the, as part of your tuition. Karina asks if, if you've done any PACE in Germany or Germany. She's in, she's in Germany. Um, I can be there on my flight home from Thailand. <laughs> no, the answer She's is gonna... no, Karina. Not yet, Karina. Get yourself Not yet. and then we can get Alan over there in German. And you can yes. do what I'm doing and do it. Yes. So many possibilities and exciting possibilities. Because again, imagine if Karina, you're the first person in German in Germany running pace. No one else is doing. Oh, woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> and Jess, in Australia, when you get back there, um, does PACE assist with us ascertaining the right techniques to move forward with the client? Sorry? Does PACE assist with ascertaining the right techniques to move forward with the client? Well, again, the toolbox of, of, of NLP is so big. And so in the way that PACE is delivered is based partly on Tad James' work on the breakthrough. So Dr. James's breakthrough is quite sequential. And, and this actually refines the sequence into five two-hour sessions. So, you know, regardless of what the client's presenting problem is, each session you know specifically what you're working on and where we're very, very different, very different, Judy, is most co uh, coaches, most counselors, once they fix the problem, the negative problem of the past, they set the client free. But you and I know that timeline therapy and NLP is so powerful that when we clear the past out, we actually change the client's narrative about who they are. Because most of us, our, our story about who we tell the story we tell about ourselves is based on our past. So when we actually clean up the past, the narrative changes. 
So a big chunk of uh, the PACE protocol is based on Viktor Frankl's work, the Holocaust survivor, who, who wrote about the existential vacuum, that when people don't have purpose, they don't know where they're going. So the PACE protocol you know, works on people's issues, but also then gets them focused on where they're going, what, they, what, their, what their purpose, or to quote Simon Sinek, what's your why, right? Definitely. Very, very so, focused on what, as you are, Judy, what does the client want? That, that's our goal, right, is to help the client get what they want. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just say A? Say, I just revealed a. my Canadians. You totally did. I think, I, did I, yes, I think I think ultimately the answer is yes. It pace does help to get you applying the techniques that you need to to help the client move forward. You know, it's Abs going to give absolutely. you even more, structure, even more structure than what you've got now with the full breakthrough session that you get in Master Prac. Yeah, the the there's think, still a, there's think, still a lot of variance in in the in the Master Prac breakthrough. Um, yep. it gives you a lot of freedom and choice. This gives you a lot of freedom and choice, but it also gives you wholeness. You know, if you start at the beginning and get to the end, your client will get out the other end with the results they want. Perfect. It's amazing. And I think no. one of the biggest things, one of the biggest things that I see with, you know, students and what I experienced myself is just that, that lack of confidence of, you know, being able to have that. Yeah. Or like with, without having, without having, even though there is strong breakthrough session from master practice, there's still, yeah, like you said, there still is a lot of freedom. And because you haven't done it before, it's like so much unknown. Um, I think it just gives you as the coach so much more confidence and, um, and, and like, support, you know, kind of like having, you know, putting yourself in the yeah. support structure that you know do that. And if you follow that protocol, that you'll find side and get them achieving. That's one of the big concerns that, that a lot of students have coming out. And, what if I fuck the person? You know, what if I do the wrong thing? Um, yeah. But, hey, uh, hey, Jessica, Jessica's asking um, about the length of the sessions. Yeah, the, the breakthrough it is a long procedure, but compared to cognitive behavioral therapy or any other therapy, NLP breakthroughs are intensive and fast and the, and the results are yeah, permanent. They, so, and, and the yeah. personal history session can be long. My experience has been over hundreds and hundreds of clients that sometimes uh, uh, um, the intake session the personal history session is a bit longer, but every one of those clients that I've had to work a little harder at at the history session had better results at the exit. It, it's this crazy yeah. Uh, paradox. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I like to take I like to take a bit of time with those personal yeah. detail history. Really. So in the peace protocol, the the detailed personal history stuff. When you're finished that you will have such rapport. It's not only about getting their history. You will now have a rapport with their unconscious mind. You will have done Cartesian coordinates with them. You will have done symbolic logic with them. You will have done a, a chunking up and down moving and you'll have rapport with their unconscious mind. When they come to the next session, the clearing past negative emotions, it happens fast, fast, fast. It, it, it's uh, yeah, it's quite profound. Yeah. So, um, how many hours do you normally give for the detailed personal history as the first session? Did you two. say two or three hours? Two. Yeah. So it's still the same structure, don't Jess? You know, usually usually two hours, and some people can. Run. And then the way Alan does it is every yeah. week an hour session. Is so, so just for clarity, in, in that two hours, though, in, in the PACE protocol, you'll do the ZTPI, which is about 20 minutes. You'll do a full VAK assessment and a meta program assessment, plus the detailed personal history, including Cartesian coordinates. So the body of wow. information you have in that two hours is like you know the client, right? And, and I, believe, yeah. I, I believe a lot of practitioners overlook meta programs at the front end. And we actually code our problems in our meta programs. Mm. We, we, 
we, we you know they're one of our filters right they're content and context filters and and so they are um, we actually do our problem through our filters through our meta programs yeah, mm. so it's a very important part yeah cool yeah and awesome. Great. In, now for some people tasking is an issue right some people have a challenge with tasking and in the yeah. PACE protocol, we have a card. I'm looking around. You can see I'm looking around my office for a card. Um, give me one sec. Uh, uh, it's a card that looks at three areas of life, your person, your relationships, and your career. And it's called the Did I Do My Best To card. And it's a, um, a series of taskings that when the client actually self-evaluates, they get a cause for everything on that list. And that's a tasking card that we use. Tasking is really confusing for lots of practitioners. This has made tasking so easy and so clear. And uh, part of the PACE protocol is after you've actually done the intervention, you follow up with the client in four weeks and then follow up with them in another four weeks after that. And you confirm that they got the change that they want. And actually, eight weeks after you're finished with them, they're still getting the results they sought. Right? And that's brilliant. And this did I do my best to card subscribes to the power of habit thinking that it takes a certain amount of time to create new habits. So when we do an NLP yeah. intervention, we break old patterns of behavior. I think it's incumbent on us to ensure that the new patterns of behavior and the new boundaries are installed and adhered to. And so PACE helps us do that with the did I do my best to cards. Cool. I'm excited for myself to learn new, new tools and new tricks. Yeah, fun. Right? Sounds amazing. And, yeah, you're, you're right on point uh, about a lot of students going, going, what do I give the – what's the task? Yeah. And so, something that's, that's in PACE that's nowhere else. I know that it's nowhere else because I talked to Tad directly about it. Um, we have one section. Because somebody who's really suffering with negative, if they've been traumatized or heavily abused or they have uh, anxiety, severe anxiety – when we help them relieve all that negativity, they've been living negativity. They've actually quit firing the neurological links to positivity. So, yeah. so the, the fourth session of PACE is reconnecting people to the positive in their life. And we've all had positive things in our life. You know, as a kid, we've all gone swimming or we've all had a bicycle or we've all, you know, done, done whatever. And so we, we created a series of techniques to reconnect to the positive. And when you see a client go through that, their face lights up. You know, they light up when they release past negatives, but when you start reconnecting them to the positive in their life and they are able to see and smell and hear and experience everything positive around them, the world opens up in new and beautiful ways, right? And those techniques are absolutely unique yeah. in pace. One of them, I talked, I took Tad, I took Tad, one of Tad's program for releasing negative emotions and recrafted it for reconnecting to positive emotions. Again, Tad was sort of, you know, he tilt, yeah, he tilts his head and he looked at uh, Adriana, right? And he just smiles. So a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun sharing it. I, I love, I love getting comments back from coaches who are using it now and, and hearing about the results they get. Awesome. I can't wait to uh, have you over here. And for those that are attending, guys, you've got to get yourself here. If you're here doing crack in uh, in May, then it's a no-brainer that you stay on because it's a day off and then it's five days. And um, for those that have uh, done training in the past, get your little... Take that out a little bit. Awesome, guys. So I think we'll wrap it up. Thanks for your time, Alan. Thank you so much. And sorry I had uh, finger problems getting on. No worries. All good. We made it no work. No worries. Uh, fantastic day, guys. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for your questions, Jess and uh, team. And uh, we'll uh, talk soon. Good night. Bye. I can't wait, eh? <laughs> Woo!